Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. Yes, that is correct, this is Dragon Quest XI and what an amazing game and experience it's been so far. For now, we are going to keep exploring and uh, in the last episode we explored about half of the map on the Helidor, on the path to Helidor and uh, we found a campsite, we fought a cool cucumber, uh, some bunny corns, what are these? Are these those ghosts? These are those ghosts in the intro song, but we can't seem to attack them or anything, so... A bit odd. I'm not sure what those are. And yeah, it's just so far so good. We're just having a nice time exploring the world map, just looking at what there is the game has to offer. And what a beautiful game, might I add. I'm actually extremely in love with the, the art style and the visuals that this game has to offer. I'm actually... Oh. Cool cucumbers, no! I think I found the cool cucumber base. Bum, bum. They are so adorable, I must say. Uh, so we're gonna kill these cool cucumbers here. So I see these two paths on the map that lead us to Helidor. Um, one that goes through this little cave and then goes kind of through this kind of like a very thin path straight that goes all the way to Helidor. And then right next to it is a thicker, more open world exploration path that. Um, also goes to Teddy Ball. So we have two options, like two directions to go. What I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head through the skinny path first and then turn back and backtrack through the thicker path and then make our way back uh, through this maybe the skinny path or even the pre empter. Or what if I'm making 30 pre empter attacks on enemies? Nice. Okay, here's some kind of jewel. Okay, luckily we just happen to have a pick a chunk of Flintstone. Copper ore and another copper ore. Can we get more of that? Only one. Okay, so mining is also in this game. Wow, this game is actually so good. You know, you know what's nice about this? Uh, as you can see, like here on the left side, we can actually zoom in here on the left side. We got this like path that goes up like that, and through here we've got this more open, open world path. But we've only explored this until this section. So I'm gonna come back and I'm eventually gonna explore that middle section. But I thought I'd first go down here to Emerald Coast, see what people say, then make our way up to here, and then backtrack through here, and then just do another turnaround, or maybe just run back like this. Maybe do like a, a circular thing like that. Maybe I'll decide as we as we make our way through. But this is really nice, and I really like. I just don't know what's up with these ghosts. There's all these weird ghost things, and I can't attack them, so it's very frustrating for me. But I'll kill the bunny corner this. I know those are obviously important because those were that thing was in the opening scene of the game. If you guys remember, I had a little light in the middle of it, and I was like, oh, it's so cute and stuff. And we think that it is what caused the death of my mother and sister. So, if that is the case, of course, I want to get my revenge and kill them. But for now, we'll just keep exploring slowly but surely. I'll fight occasional enemies along the way, but we, as I said earlier, I definitely don't want to uh, over level as in the previous episode because that is always a problem in these type of games if you over level. It kind of uh, you take a lot of the fun out of the game if you if every enemy is experienced too easy. Like right now there's like never a doubt in my mind that I'm going to win a fight so it gives me the freedom to just fight any creature, not worry about it, you know. Sure the cucum cucumbers and the uh, ravens and the bunnies did a lot of damage the first time I encountered them. That was just the first time. Once I understood them, they became a lot easier, of course, and then uh, once they became a lot easier, it was much less scary for me to actually fight these guys. So, I'm gonna use a flame stash here on the bummy corner. I think we could one shot it, maybe. Nice. Just speed up the, the battle a little bit, even if you use a tiny bit of MP. I'm not sure if skills use MP. I know the frizz does, but I don't know about skills. So, I see a little house down here. I'm gonna explore. I think that's enough fighting of these enemies specifically for now. So, I'm just gonna run past them if I can. This is also kind of nice that they implemented this type of battle system because it gives me the option of finding enemies where in the older Final Fantasies or Dragon Quest or stuff you would either have to equip an item that took away all encounters or you would have to just run away from encounter or you would just have to fight every single encounter that you encountered and sometimes you know you wouldn't want to fight but you would have to fight so I've been sent from Helidor Coast to make sure no one passes this way the monsters up in Emerald Coast are nasty pieces of work I'm not to let anyone go anywhere near them Okay. Oh, while he says that, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and start moving my back to that camp. Mm. It 
two pots for us to destroy. We got a Chimera Ring and a nothing. Okay. We got Chimera Ring. I'm pretty sure the Chimera Ring works the same in this game as it has in every other game. So I could basically go to my menu, go to items, go to item bag, go to Chimera Room, and I could use the Chimera Ring to instant teleport to the last place we prayed. Oh, okay. We to use away the last place they prayed or the last important location they visited consumed upon use. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm very happy about that. I have a seed of life and a seed of agility, but I don't usually like using those, so I'm gonna skip I'm gonna hold off moving those now. I want to I still wanna fight the enemy here and there. So that it's just it's not just me running around all times, but I will contemplate which enemies I wanna fight and which enemies I might want to not fight. So I think a normal attack your abilities do use MP, okay, good. I thought so, I was just wasn't sure. Master the strength, okay, it's fine. You can master the strength, funny corner, it doesn't matter because you down. Beautiful. Group of enemies are defeated. Eight experience and eight gold. Okay, so far so, so good. I don't think I need to find anything else here. I think finding anything else here is just going to overlevel me a little bit, and we don't want that. So, just gonna skip these guys as much as we can. Of course, I look for anything like secrety. Like, I want to click on the sign. Emerald Coast, headed or castle. Okay. Uh, ooh, that looks like a different color bunny, so I'll fight that one. That one looks like it might. Nope, it's a bunny corn. Is it a bunny corn? It looks like grey. The other ones are more white or pink, right? Nope, it's a bunny corn. Okay. Oh, the bat didn't die. I mean, the, the little guy didn't die. That's really bad. So we need to take out the bunny corn here because he's powered up. So he's going to hit very hard. So we need to make sure we kill him. Very important. Ooh, that was a big hit from the Stark Raven, actually. But now he's down. Beautiful. I thought that was a different bunny because it looked like a different color to me. But obviously it wasn't, so... Just looking at, I thought they might be seeing that little uh, tree branch. That little tree stump. A couple of enemies chasing me, no big deal. Skip most of them. There's a cool cucumber we could fight, but I'm gonna skip them too. Just looking around, looking for any glints, any items, any chests, that type of thing. Not seeing anything at this moment. A couple of enemies are aggroing us, but we don't care too much about those. There's a cool cucumber. I think I'll hold off on fighting him for a while. This looks, this looks important. Okay, so the fence was broken down here. Wow, look at this. Look at that. That is amazing. I, I'm assuming we can explore all of that at some point, maybe? I don't know. That would be cool. I hope, I hope so. Ooh! A platypus! It's a platypus! A platypunk! Sorry, a platypunk. A platypunk. It was sleeping though, I feel horrible. I'm gonna flash, uh, slash, flame slash it immediately because I'm not sure how strong it is. Okay, it's not strong. Okay. Platypunk is defeated. 8 experience and 10 gold, so he is strong. We just hit him very hard. That's our first Platypunk uh, encounter, so I didn't want to take any chances because I'm not on full HP at the moment and we don't know what it, what its damage is going to be like, but oh my word. This is... I actually mentioned this in the Persona playthrough and um, a few other games that I've been playing recently. This is that old school JRPG that everybody loves. If you're a JRPG gamer, if you've played Final Fantasy 7, 8, Dragon Quest 8, uh, Chrono Trigger, that, this is what you play. Hammerhead, uh, Hammerhood, sorry. Um, these are the type, this is what you want. You want this open world exploration, these multiple types of enemies. Uh, I like how we can see the enemy in the back walking there, the Hammerhood in the back, that's pretty cool. Now, we don't, must be careful. These guys can hit very hard if they want to, so I might want to heal up soon. But I think I'll, if I'm going to try and squeeze out one or two more fights before I use another medicinal herb. I don't know what these are. These are new. A uh, fright bulb. This is definitely a new enemy. It's adorable. I'm going to use a frizz on it. I think a frizz will do it. Oh, we have a heal. Let's heal ourselves. 26 heal. Beautiful. And we blocked the attack, which is even better. Floats about in its place. Six damage, okay. It's pretty tanky. Let's frizz it. Oh no, I didn't need to frizz it. We're gonna but we can frizz it for fun. So, fight bulbs are of course weak to fire because they are plant types. Makes sense. Drop the chest chest. We got a medicinal herb. Beautiful. So, now that we've got a heal, we probably never need to use our medicinal herb, which is extremely cool. Bum, 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 bum. Fight, start off with a frizz immediately. Beautiful. Oh, he didn't die. And he did three damage. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Good work, fight, Bob. You got me. Nice. So I'm very glad I took this uh, alternative route. I don't know if we're getting these new encounters because of it or not, but let's go. I'm going to skip the stock, but I'm definitely going to fight the Hammerhood. Hello, Hammerhood. Oh, yeah. I love this whole um, getting the first strike initiation type. Oh, I've, I'm pepped up. I'm pepped up. I'm like, what's happening? I pushed the wrong button. I was just pepped up, baby. 
I'm pepped up and ready to go. My guy's very aggressive. He looks just like the character from Final Z, uh, from Dragon Quest 8 with this with these clothes on, and it's really cool. I know it's not going to last because we eventually going to have to equip better equipment, but it's so cool. I feel like I'm I'm playing Final Z, uh, Final Fantasy. I keep saying Final Fantasy because I love Final Fantasy so much, but I keep feeling like I'm playing Dragon Quest over and over and over. It's actually awkward because I love Final Fantasy. And I like Dragon Quest, but they're both made by Square Enix, so I support Square Enix in both ways. But I wonder if the... Ooh, Platterpunk didn't die and he did 5 damage. I wonder if people like if the Dragon Quest creators don't like the Final Fantasy creators, and the Final Fantasy creators don't like the Dragon Quest creators, because they kind of have each other's competition, basically. they literally the other person, you know, so... Say I'm, I'm going to buy a game, and they release Final Fantasy 10, and they release Dragon Quest 10. And I can only buy one, you know, they're each other's competition because they're, the, they're kind of the same game, right? So, it's actually interesting because you're still supporting Square Enix, but the question is, do Dragon Quest people, like, kind of resent Final Fantasy people and Final Fantasy people resent Dragon Quest people because they're each other's kind of competition? I don't know. I don't know how it works. But all I know is I love both of you guys because you both make my favorite games of all time. So, Persona, Dragon Quest... Final Fantasy, Dragon, uh, Dark Souls, sorry. Uh, there is a couple of like, uh, Dragon Age was, I really enjoyed Dragon Age 1. Unfortunately, Dragon Age 2 was a lit down. Uh, Dragon Age 3 was okay. Dragon Age Inquisition was also okay, but not like, it wasn't even great. That's the problem. It was just okay. Um, so that was the only problem there, but Dragon Age 1, I remember I played that game so many times. It was such a great game. But I mean, it had Morgana, and that's the only reason it was a great game. Well, not the only reason, of course. I'm pretty sure it was a great game regardless of Morgana, but I love Morgana. I think everyone loved Morgana, especially... But I was like a teenager. I was like a pubescent teenager back then, so obviously, you know, Morgana, that whole um, tough female, very confident, very sexy, you know? I think that's any uh, teenage male in the, between the age of 15 and 16 would love Morgana. So, gained... Level 6 and got two, two skill points. Would you like to use skill points? Of course I'd like to use skill points. So I'm not going to, at the moment, I'm not going to like go to other stuff. I'm just going to stick to putting it all in swords for now. So this gives me critical hit chance when wielding plus 2. Increase critical hit chance when attacking with swords. Okay. Uh, attack power when wielding plus 3. Increase attack power when wielding swords. I'm going to increase the attack power. I can't. I need, I need more skill points. Yeah. Okay. So I can't actually... Okay, I can't actually increase anything. Okay, so those two skill points are kind of... I mean, not wasted, obviously, because we're going to build them up and use them later on, but it sucks that my next level up couldn't give me any new skills and stuff, I guess, but... Can I go into the water here? No. It does look like you can... Is that a cave? That's either a cave, or that is just really well designed, um, aesthetically, to look like a cave, which would also be insanely cool. The biggest thing about this game at the moment for me is just it's so beautiful. It's like they took Dragon Quest, which it's only not even a flaw. Uh, saying it's a flaw would be rude to the game, but the only thing about it, it, it always had this cartoonish, childish look and feel to it. So when you're playing Dragon Quest, you're like you were enjoying the story, the game, the characters, but it always had this childish feel and look to it. So it, it never felt serious and dark and stuff. But this. Just look how beautiful this looks. It's just beautiful. The, the design, the color. The, and I love that it's so bright as well. It's so nice to see it, uh, such a bright game. And um, it just feels more adult. And it just feels more exciting to play because of that. But I'm fanboying all over here. In case you guys haven't noticed, obviously. <laughs> I'm like losing my mind and going complete fanboy. So, you know. At the same time, don't take everything I say. Ooh, hello. This is like Atelier! Finds a piece of pink pine, find a chimera wing, and a piece of pink pine. Beautiful. I'm not sure what these pink pines are, but all I know is I've got quite a lot of them already. I'm not gonna fight these guys because, you know, I fought them already. I'm just gonna keep exploring here. Actually, I'm not gonna explore this too much because I'll explore on the way back. I think what I'm gonna do is start heading back this way, which, if I'm correct, is gonna lead me to a dead end. Well, not a dead end, back to the camp at some point. So, my whole plan is that it leads me back to the camp right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do like a circular move through the camp. So I'm going to go like, well not through the camp, through the area before the camp. So I'm going to like move all the way 
on the on the left side all the way up to the camp and then take all the way to the right side coming back and then that way we would have explored everything here. i think i'll start slacking on how many enemies i fight though because i think i might be fighting a few too many enemies and getting a little bit over leveled here so just want to be very careful not to over level ourselves that's important i mean getting an extra level too early is not a problem of course and i'm just fighting the enemies as i see them i'm not it's not like i'm going out of my way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just head if we zoom in here, gonna head along that left path all the way to camp and then all the way on the right path and then back up this way. Because I've already explored that section, so there's no reason to do that. So let's go. So all the way along the left path to this part. There's a floating bulb. I'll skip him for now. Keep moving. There's a hammer hood, two hammer hoods and a, and a floating bulb. Over here we got some ruins. Oh! Ooh, there's some type of toad slimy monster. Okay. No chests or sparklies here, no, okay. Keep going this way for now. Sorry about that camera turn, that one even hurt my eyes a little bit. Playing, I've been playing a lot of Atelier uh, lately, or oh, I was playing a lot of Atelier, and then, then Dragon Quest XI came out. <laughs> no, not to take anything away from the Atelier series, it's a great, great game. They just messed up the exploration. Like, look at this game's exploration, right? There's no time restraints, there's no limitations, I can explore and see to my heart's content and there's no like pressure on me to like oh i need to i need to move i need to awake robin Ooh, we got a wake robin i never had a wake robin fledging fight robin claim victory at least 50 battles beautiful beautiful so some of these achievements we get pop-up trophies and others don't pop up trophies but that could be because my internet is being used in three other areas right now it's updating a game uploading a video and downloading something at the same time so my internet's been really over stressed so maybe the trophies aren't popping due to the internet uh, being a little bit overused but it's okay 15 damage beautiful hammer hood is defeated i'm playing the hammer hoods because i haven't got a chest drop on my hammer hood yet if i'm if i'm correct which i think i am and i'm hoping for the possibility that hammer hood chest drops might have items that i don't have like the wake robin we got from the light bulbs so i'm gonna fight the toad it's an ugly ass toad that is a scary looking toad, man. It's got like bumps all over it and shit. Toady. Let's kill Needler. Take him out of the equation. Toady. Toady leaks me. Ooh, three damage. Toady, no. First Toady. Get first Toady. Ooh, eight damage. That was way less than I thought. Toady sings a spell binding song. He silenced me. Oh, I love the silence. This little uh, face there next to my name. You, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a, okay, it's gone now. But there was a little face with tape, like a little tape over the mouth. Oh, that was beautiful. So that, that was our first toady encounter. Pretty good. So we've explored this whole section. So now we're going to go down here and explore along the river. Uh, there's a bunch of toadies. I'm going to skip them for now. I'll fight, I will fight a couple more toadies. Don't worry. But I'm just going to head on this way to the item. Beautiful. A jug of fresh water. I love it. I'm assuming with all these items we're picking up, like jugs of fresh water, uh, wake robins, all those, etc, etc. I'm assuming at some point we're going to get some kind of alchemy like in Dragon Quest VIII. I hope so at least. Oh, but this game is like, it's so reminding me of Dragon Quest VIII. It's bringing back all that childhood nostalgia and I'm getting very excited playing this. Oh, damage, Toady! That's way too much damage. But once again, we're leveling up at the moment because we're such a low level. We can, I'm going to fight this Toady. Uh, we're such a low level that right now we kind of use levels to heal, so we don't really need to heal ourselves too often, which is kind of good. It's saving us medicinal herbs, it's saving us mana, so we can use mana in fights. So that's it's really useful. Now look, look carefully, you'll see right next to my face. Oh, it missed. Ah, I wanted to show you guys the silence. Oh, oh well. It looks really cool when you get silence, you get a little thing. I'm assuming there's going to be a bunch of um, statuses, poison, silence, curse, blind. Um... Um, I wanted to say mini, but that's a different game completely. I do need to come up here because I haven't actually explored up here because um, I went straight to the pathway leading to the Emerald Coast. So we do need to explore up here. I wish there was a run mechanic. I'm assuming the horse is the run mechanic to travel faster, but I like I like traveling on foot. Even if it takes a little bit more time, maybe these episodes will be a little bit longer than they need to, but for at least for the first time we explore a new area like this, I think I will stick to the sticking to manual transportation aka my main hero's legs and then after we've uh, you know explored a bit seen a bit of the world and if we backtrack then i'll use the horse when i backtrack to areas because then i've got every chest and i've probably got every item and they did say that um shinies can respawn so things like that jug of fresh water 
um, some of these things we pick up, the the trees we harvest, you know, there's a potential that they can respawn. The game did make it seem that way. So now we're going to head all the way, oh, you were still moving, dude. Now we're going to head all the way left, and then we're going to explore the left section. And we're going to run along the left section all the way back to uh, the area, and that should be that. That should be this whole ex area explored and looked at. Yeah, you can, you can aggro me, bunny corn, but the problem is, can you catch me? That's the real question, bunny corn. It don't help if you can see me, bunny corn. The question is, can you stop me? And I'm sorry to be bear bad news, Mr. Bunny Corn, but the answer is no. Can I get up here? How do I hit that raven? That one stock raven seems like he's out of my range. I don't know how to aggro him. I've had a stock raven. I haven't fought them in a while. They do get one shot, so it is a lot easier. But we, we like, I think. I think at this point we're already over leveled for this area of the game, in all honesty. I, I really think so. So I can come up here. And I can, like, oh, so I can hit him even if I'm. So I just need to kind of be like in front of him. I don't actually have to be exactly the same height. Very interesting. Beautiful. That's that's cool. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of feel like I should, like, they should force me to, I don't know, climb to it or make the Stark Raven fly down towards me before I can uh, attack it or something like that. But. I guess, you know, you can't think about everything in the game. And I mean, it's very easy to judge a game while playing the game. Like I'm doing now. Although I really should not be judging such a great game so early. Definitely not so early. I mean, I just started. Um, but I mean, I'm just judging it from a JRPG gamer standpoint. I've played easily a couple of thousand hours. Friendly? Nope, not friendly. I just couldn't attack him for some reason. That was weird. They wouldn't let me attack him, but that was very weird. I'll take four damage, but it's okay. I would probably take four damage regardless, because I don't one-shot these toadies yet. Oh, why couldn't I attack that toady? Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to get up the, like the way I got up. That's a possibility. Okay, so let's explore this water section a bit. See if there's anything here, chest-wise or sparkle-wise or anything like that. You never know. A couple of hammer hoods there. I go over here. This pathway doesn't seem like there's anything here. This pathway. I'll definitely throw these two barrels. One had a toad or pot of toad oil. Very interesting. That's definitely a new item. So I'm just gonna go up there, explore that section. We're gonna make our way back to where we were. We got that tree, but I think I'll fight one more toad before I do. Hello, toad. Beautiful. We're not one shotting the toadies yet, so we are taking a little bit of damage, but we almost one shotted the toadies. My coffee is so cold, it's atrocious. But it's what it is. I really like hate coffee because I love coffee. I love drinking coffee, but I'm a man that I drink my coffee leisurely. I don't drink it all in one gulp. I drink it leisurely. I enjoy my coffee, drink it slowly. And what happens always gets cold. And when it's cold, I don't want to drink it. Then I throw it away. And then I feel like I'm wasting coffee. And, you know, and I feel bad about wasting the coffee. Especially if it's good quality coffee. I feel really bad. But what can I do? The coffee gets cold. There's nothing I can do about it. We got a cotton top. Interesting. And this is why you explore. Because that, I don't have a cotton top. That's my first cotton top ever. So before this point, I did not have a cotton top. But just by doing a little bit of exploration. But I'm pretty sure all of you that are watching, if you are true JRPG gamers, uh, you you do the same thing. You explore the entire map, and if you play Final Fantasy IX, then you then you super then you know how to super explore because Final Fantasy IX is a mother effort. I almost feel like Final Fantasy IX tries to troll you with their their hidden items and their secret items and stuff. So, okay, cool. I feel like we've done a really good exploration in this area. I think I've seen and done everything. So, no more reason to stick around here. We're just gonna make our way out now. I'll fight one lost toady before I go. Beautiful. Three damage on that. Uh, ooh, two toadies. Oh, two toadies. That's a scary thought. I'm going to flame slash toady B. I want to make sure toady dies. I think it's really important. Toady D did not die. I'm going to get silenced. I missed it. Okay, good. Toady A attacks. Really want to take out toady B. The flame slashes don't kill toady B. I wonder if toads, because they're water types, have a higher resistance to fire type. Spells and abilities. Toady A spellbinding song. Please land so I can slow around in silence. You mother effers. Of course it won't land now because I'm trying to show you silence. 
that's just how it goes. But I think this was a pretty good episode. We explored almost the entirety of the uh, Helidor region. We are going to make our way to Helidor really, really soon. Um, in the next episode, we will definitely, of course, explore Helidor and everything Helidor has to offer. But I still want to get up here first. Can I get up here? No, I can't. It does look like you can, but you can't. Oh man, this game is so nice. It's so pretty. And look at these caves. Look at this. Look how it gets darker. Oh man, that's so good. I love it. I'm, I'm going on and on and on about the looks and stuff. But it's because... Um, the thing about open world games, like, like uh, JRPG games that are open world and stuff, usually you don't care about the look. Like, the if it looks pretty, that's a bonus. What you really after is that entire, like, world ex that open world experience and the massive map and exploration and seeing all these new exciting things that's what you really often so to get that as well as a beautiful game it just feels good platypunk you is a platypunk because he has a mohawk and looks like he's wearing a mask that is covering his face like a like a criminal you know that's why he's called a platypunk because of the mohawk you know so this is just a situation. Like, don't judge a platter punk by his mohawk. That's what I'm saying. So far, so good. I don't see... I'll do a little run through this middle section. See if there's any shinies I might have potentially missed. Doesn't look like it. The tree isn't shining, so it didn't respawn. The items I can click. Nice. Let's just head out of here. I don't think I want to fight anything else. I'll read the sign, though. Helidor Castle. Helio Dar Castle. Helio Dor. Helio Dor Castle. There's an enemy in the game called a Helios, so that's why I know it's Helio Door. I'm not gonna fight these enemies here, I think. Um, unless I have to, of course, because there's quite a lot of them here and there. Not a lot of people to aggro me, but. There we go. See, that's. No! Oh, I got hit by a Platypunk. And I'm pretty low on HP, actually. I might need to do a heal here, actually. See if he gets the first attack now. I'm actually gonna go for a heal. I'm just a little bit worried about max HP. There's quite a few enemies here. I'm scared one of them accidentally uh, get the first hit and do seven damage to me. That's what I was worried about. We pepped up, baby. Let's go. Pepped up time. Play the pumpkin wreck. 13 damage and you didn't die? We blocked it though. Beautiful. Man, he didn't die from 13 damage. That's insane. That's actually insane. Eight experience. There we go. We came here for this. Oh, we harvested it. That's so cool. Cotton top. Medicinal herb and cotton top. Nice. So we can harvest plants. We can um, almost like I wouldn't say chop down because chop down is not the right version. But we can like harvest trees with a little hammer. We can harvest crystal rocks like mining them with a pickaxe. This is pretty much like Atelier first. <laughs> I'm saying that because I've been playing a lot of Atelier first. Oh, well, I was playing a lot of Atelier first, but then of course. Dragon Quest showed up and now I'm like, I only want to play Dragon Quest and nothing else but Dragon Quest. And here we are. This should be the entrance to Helios Castle. Hello. Have you come far? Well, you're safe now. Heliodor waits. Once you're in the city, you can find a nice inn and rest up. Luckily, old you. Yeah. I mean, what are you guys trying to defend against? There's nothing there. You want to shoot your trebuchet down there? There's nothing. You want to shoot your trebuchet down there, I guess. Well, let's head into Helio Castle. We finally made it. Lots of you might have doubted me, might have thought I'd never do it, but here we are. Welcome to Helio. This is the largest city in all of Adria. You know, you should head downtown for a take a, a look at the liveliest side of life here if you get the chance. Okay, so downtowns we want to head it to. I like the liveliest side of town. And let's go. Helio Castle. The attack attribute detects how much damage you'll deal with each physical attack while defense determines the damage you'll take when an enemy strikes the higher the number the more impressive the effect. That makes sense. The higher characters charm the more attractive they are increasing the- Ah, oh, I never get to read that one. Ooh, very big town. Beautiful. I love big towns because big towns mean exploration baby. Heliodor. Hello. So very busy. Okay, so I can't talk to him. I can see you. If I stand up here, I can see folks walking down below. Sometimes they see me and smile and we have a little bit of a moment. Uh... Okay. 
so I walk up to them. I can, but I don't tick, tick on them. A little speech bubble pops up. So very busy. Interesting. Greetings. Welcome to Hiddor, greatest city of all of Erdria. Please make yourself at home. Oh, and if you're wondering about what that white speech bubble above my friend's head, well, that just means he's got nothing else to say right now. People get like that sometimes, you know? Oh, that's nice. So you can't speak to every single person in the game. And that makes sense, you know? Some people might just not be in a good mood. And they don't want to speak to some random guy who's just coming up and asking them random questions. I don't blame them. I've been there. I think we've all been there. If we've been honest with each other. Oh, I love this. I love this type of exploration. Being able to go up and jumping down and things. and Awesome. And that's not the half it. Then, be, then he... I haven't seen you around here before, huh? Hmm. You here to see the king, you say? Well, you won't find him around here. You better head to the castle. Go straight up this road. Climb the steps. Keep going. And Bob's your uncle. Just remember that they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. And the king needs his sleep, you know? You're best off heading there bright and early if you want an audience. Okay, so we want to go early to the king. Weapons, weapons, here we go. A new city means exciting new equipment to buy, so if it's your first time in town, be sure to pay us to visit your friendly neighborhood. Armor is right by the fountain. Okay, awesome. There's the fountain. Hello. Roll up, roll up. That's the price, take it or leave it. Is that the be really the best you can do? Lovely weather. If your feet are getting sore, I recommend a stay at the nice inn. There's one above the bar just over there. Okay. Maybe just one drink won't hurt. <laughs> That's how it starts. It's always one drink. One drink won't hurt. And then one drink turns into two drinks. And next thing you know, you're waking up in Ecuador. This is a vintage stuff. Come see my wares. What to buy? What to buy? There's so much great stuff. I can't decide what to get. I know, dude. I, I feel you, brother. I see some stuff we can break up here. Beautiful. We got a chimera ring. Lovely. I'm just entering people's homes. I'm robbing their cabinets. Do not message me when I'm playing games. Do you guys not know I've made a rule about this? When Jason is playing games. Oh. Oh, books. This is a book called A Spotter's Guide to Monsters. JLPG Gaming takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Interpret adventure. If this book should impress upon you one thing before you set out on your quest to the world, let it be this. The monsters that roam the land at night are far more fearsome than those appear during the day. Heed these words while adventure and go abroad in the evening only if you are prepared to meet the dangers that await you. Okay, so that's why the campsite had optional stuff. This is fine then. Maybe the finest in Helido, I mean, who knows? I don't know, but this pot is mine. That's all I know. My pot. Find some flax and thread. Sweet. Gotta keep robbing the inn, and then eventually we'll go... Oh. I'm assuming it went nighttime, and this is how the game shows me it's nighttime, but then, because I'm under a roof, I kind of ruined it. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Another free medicinal herb. Hello. There's a gate to these. They will take you to a rough part of town. It's managed by guards to keep the riff rat out. Okay. Let's go down to the inn. And, uh... Let's speak to some people and then eventually rest up. This is the inn. What are you? It's a bank. Welcome to Rainbow Inn's bank. You can trust us to keep your hard-earned money safe. Deposit and withdrawals are accepted in multiples of 1,000 gold coins. And of course, our service are entirely complimentary. So how can I help you today? Cancel. I have no money. And why would I want to leave money? Do I, uh, can I get robbed? Mmm, tasty. Relax and enjoy. It's a bunny girl! Mmm, that's the stuff. They must be the greatest part in the whole wide world. It's a shame all these grown-ups keep telling me to clear off. This is the tasty stuff, but then everything else looks great too. Yep, Helidor is one heck of a place. I feel you, brother. There's a bunny goal. You must be so excited. Wow, sounds great. And there's more. Okay, I see a secret underground area, so you know I'm going to explore that. Let's go explore the secret underground area. It's not the secret underground area. It's just their kitchen. No, don't break the pump. I'm sorry. I just love cooking. I love eating. We have something in common. So much to do, so little time. I know, right? I have the same problem. Okay. A little bit creepy. 
Oh. According to this poor nipper, her friend Amelia has gone and got stuck on the roof. You can't get out on the rooftops from the item shop, but I can't leave her bowling to get it. Can I? Cool, what a pickle. Okay. Well, before I do this quest, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the inn. I've been saving my pennies and now it's time to spend them. You can't afford to be stingy, you know? It's important to get yourself the best kit. Is this Gohan? Gohan, is that you? I think that's Gohan, guys. Welcome to our inn, Trevor. You must be exhausted at this late hour. Would you like to spend the night or just rest for a while? In either case, I can offer you a rate of three gold coins. Stay overnight. Please enjoy your stay. And I think that's a beautiful place as any to end this episode 4 of Dragon Quest 11. What an amazing game. I've been having the world's time playing it. Of course, if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It's super duper awesome. Helps a lot. And I really appreciate it. I will see you all in the next episode of Dragon Quest 11, where we will be exploring the entirety of Helidor. For now though, thank you for watching. Of course, leave a like. It really helps a lot, especially for new series. Subscribe if you want to see more Dragon Quest 11 in the future. And leave a comment on what time frame you want these episodes to be. Half an hour, 45 minutes, or an hour long. I would love to know. I'll be asking these for the first five or six or so episodes. And then from that point onwards, I will have a set time, hopefully, for the episodes. So for now, let me know in the comments uh, how long you want the episodes to be plus minus. It really helps me a lot. And of course, let me know what you think about the game. Are you do you, have you picked up Dragon Quest Eleven? Are you enjoying Dragon Quest Eleven? Let me know. It's a great game, and if, if you have not picked it up, I would honestly advise you to do because I have been playing now for the whole day <laughs> already, and I actually can't stop. So for now, thank you all very very much for watching. I'll see you next time with more Dragon Quest Eleven.